Hi there, today we're going to set up a 1 to 90 cross hotbar for Astro players who play with controller on PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this up if you want to get a jump start on having a consistent cross hotbar. I do have some good news and bad news. I have mained Astro on controller for a while and it is possible and once it clicks you will be unstoppable. But bad news is the button bloat is real and it can be a really high ceiling of entry for new or beginning players on controller. But if you've played any other games with controller then you might not not have as hard of a time. Just don't think it's you when you don't get it right away. It's just kind of a difficult job to play on controller, but only for a little bit. I separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. Remember that healers are more reactive than proactive and your healing widely depends on your party setup and how much damage your teammates are taking. Right trigger one is always my main GCD heal spells. Remember we're building to where you can use this at lower levels which is why I keep these here for when leveling down. We have benefic one, benefic two, essential dignity, and aspected helios. These are pretty much our basic GCD hills and one OGCD heal which is essential dignity that we're going to be using for all levels of content. Aspected Helios is here over Helios as it's almost better in every situation to put a regen on the party rather than just straight heal them. Moving to right trigger d-pad, we have Swift Cast Raise, Lucid Dreaming, and our Flex Spot Light Speed. I always have these three abilities here for every healer so the action of MP regeneration and reviving someone is always the same buttons. In my Flex Spot, I have Light Speed, which is Astro's godly instant cast in most abilities for those truly holy shit moments when everyone's going to die and you need to heal the entire party immediately. Right trigger two is our important job abilities, celestial intersection, exaltation, macrocosmos, and horoscope. This is almost like my tank buster section where I mostly use these abilities right before a tank buster for a boss attack or right as the tank has finished pulling gigantic mobs. A note on horoscope, I have it here specifically to mimic aspected Helios on the bottom bar in case I want to upgrade it. So you cast horoscope first, then aspected Helios, and then you'll get horoscope Helios. This is actually a great combo for right before a boss pool to have a long heal waiting to use when the boss does like a room wide AOE or something. As there's usually one within the first 30 seconds of the start of the battle. Right trigger 2 d-pad is our least used area of abilities, sure cast, Helios, neutral sect, and sinistry. Even though neutral sect is super OP, we don't use it as often as if you're spamming aspected Helio or aspected benefic, which is what it's used with, then it probably is an oopsie moment, which you shouldn't have a lot of. Also, there's just really no room anywhere else to put it. Same with Sinistry, as it only works with Benefic 2 or Benefic 1, but Benefic 2 primarily. So it's really some last resort healing, as doing these will take away from your damaging. Left trigger one is our damage dealing GCDs. We have gravity two, Asuna, damage over time or dot combust, and single target damage, Malefic. These are the same for every healer of mine to make switching between the healers much easier. Left trigger one d-pad is where I'm going to lose most of you now. This is our card abilities for Astro that give out our party buffs. I have them here as this is the easiest spot to be able to quickly apply to teammates without a lot of button pressing and since they're on a 30 second cooldown you will be using them a lot. I also have aspected benefic and clarifying draw here as well as I usually do not get the seal I want and I want to redraw the cards as much as possible. Lastly, play is the north position as it's the easiest location to apply cards for the teammates. Left trigger 2 is kind of our bread and butter of Astro, collective unconscious, earthly star, divination, and celestial opposition. If you notice, these three abilities have a 60 second cooldown which makes it really easy to keep track of them together. They are also our OGCDs so you can pair these with other abilities or with each other in order to get more regens on the tank. Divination has a 120 second cooldown, so it helps me to know when I go through two cycles of these cooldowns, divination is up and ready to be used. It's little cues like these that you can try to give yourself when setting up your cross hotbar to make things a lot easier. Left trigger 2 d-pad is our all important abilities, Astro Giant, Minor Arcana, and Crown Play. These are paired right above my card abilities on the bottom hotbar so I have everything in one place and don't lose track of all of the cooldowns that Astro has. It can be tricky getting used to playing these cards but Minor Arcana is used left often and can be held a little easier which is why it's on the top cross hotbar. 
If you notice, I really don't have room for anything else on the hotbar, either repos or rescue. As always, Sprint and other utilities are on hotbar 3. I don't personally put these on our first two cross hotbars because as you can see, there's just really no room and there's much more valuable things that you can be putting there. Cross hotbar 3 is shared between all my jobs, so every job has access to it. Now we have our full setup for our level 90 Astro. There are some really cool setups you can do if you're playing with Astro with some macro stuff, which you are more than happy to join my Discord and ask that in the healer section as we have a few end game rating Astros in there that would be more than happy to share their setup or explain how to set them up for like Savage content and Extremes content and Ultimates. If you want to learn how to play Astro, then you can watch my 1 to 90 Astro guide I'll have linked down below. This is a hard job on controller, so don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. If this helped even a little bit, don't forget to limit break three that subscribe button, and I will link all of my controller setup guides for the jobs I have done in the description box or at the end of this video. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials and guides, then you can click here.